guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video so the setup's a little bit weird right now i know the angle's a little weird um this is my first time with a tripod and everything and trying to set it up and unfortunately i can't zoom in on this i'm using my front facing camera on my phone so i'm gonna see what i can do in editing we'll see how it goes so yeah forgive me for the little test run we're doing here but i wanted to go ahead and do a new video i'm really really excited i'm thinking i want to do purple because i'm newly blonde as you can see i have my hair pulled back but i think the purple would look good with it so that's what i plan on doing we'll see what actually happens it's always different but First, I wanted to go in and do my brows. Now, just a disclaimer, probably gonna be a lot of those in this video, but I have not learned how to do my brows while being blonde. So I actually do my brows the same way I did when I had black hair, which is probably not a good thing, but it's the only thing I know how to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. And if I remember, I'll try to link all this stuff down below for you. I think this is in number five. And it looks like this. It's probably hard to tell on camera, but it has a lighter brown and then a lot darker, cooler brown on the tail. And then I'm using my Benefit Cosmetics brow brush as well. Not sure if this has a number or anything. I think this came in some set I got around Christmas. So yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do in editing, see if I can zoom you in while I do my brows real quick. I have my mirror right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do those real quick. I always like to do my brows first. I don't know why. I don't know how people do it because anytime I do my brows after I do my foundation, it just, it doesn't like go on. So if you guys know any drugstore, or you know what, either way, preferably drugstore, but if you know any brow products for like whatever type of blonde I am, like any taupe color that are good, let me know because I, I don't know how I want to do my brows with the blonde hair. I'm really not used to it yet. I didn't even plan on keeping it really. It's a long story. Just, I don't know how to do them. I'm so used to having dark hair and ever since I started doing my eyebrows, which was um, a month before my senior year, is that it? Or junior year? I'm pretty sure it was my senior year during the summer, like that last month before school is when I started doing it and I've always done my eyebrows black. If you look back on my channel, I typically have colored hair. I still plan on doing that. I'm just taking a little break right now with the blonde. Okay, so I'm lightly taking this lighter brown. I feel like you really can't tell on camera. The one in the front and very, very lightly trying to fill in my brows. Oh, I figured I would mention um, on this channel but if you guys are interested in Sims gameplay, Sims 4, Sims 3, I actually have a separate channel for that. I'll leave that link down below. I'm a lot more active on there. Um, I haven't uploaded on this makeup channel in a year or so. So if you're interested in that, I'm over there. I also have a Twitch. I don't stream that often, but I plan on streaming, well, tonight, but this video is probably not gonna go up tonight, but I plan on streaming a little bit more, but over there I stream a lot of random games, mostly Dead by Daylight if you're into that. I doubt it, but just throwing it out there. <laughs> So that is about the brows done. I really don't clean them up anymore or like take any time on them at all. Honestly, forgot to mention, but I guess we can do it now because we're about to do my face makeup. Um, I prepped my skin with this Laneige, Laneige Cream Skin Mist. I love this stuff. This stuff is amazing as you can see. Um, the lighting's a little weird because I'm using natural lighting and it's like 10 a.m. So, um... Yeah, as you can see, my skin's a bit dewy. Um, this stuff, amazing if you have dry skin. And then I just put on a chapstick. I use this Vaseline Rosy Lips. I love this stuff. Really, really good. And I have been using, okay, here's where another disclaimer comes in. I have been using the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination from IT Cosmetics. Um, I don't recommend this stuff. I originally bought 
the blue bottle, the original CC cream, years ago. Loved it. The absolute best foundation I've ever used. If you're looking for a new one, definitely use that. It's, it's light, but like almost full coverage at the same time, which is what I was really into back then because I used to struggle with acne a lot, as you've seen on my channel. And um, I, it, it is dewy. It's a dewy foundation. And then I was like, but I love dewy, like a lot. <laughs> Because I used to put on like really mattifying foundation and it was like crusty and gross. Like I can't believe I ever did that. So I went ahead and was like, oh, so this, but even more dewy. Like awesome, right? No. First of all, this shade is very, very dark. Um, I use it anyway <laughs> because it's just quick and easy. It's the only CC cream I have and I'm struggling with my foundations right now. Um, but this has a lot of sparkle in it and it like stays on your face after you take it off like just i it looks good but like it's sparkly and everything so i mean i don't know if you're into that but i've been using this and actually just using my fingers to rub it in for like a really quick coverage and then bouncing over it with a sponge um i think this is eco tools or something i got this at ross um so i can't remember but i really like that sponge but today I am going to try, I've never done this before, so it's risky, but I'm going to try mixing this with my moisturizer just to see if um, it maybe lightens it or something because you're probably going to see on camera that it's way darker than it needs to be for me. I'm usually like, well, last summer I was like really tan, so I bought everything in a darker shade. No, this is fair light. It's not very fair. Um, so I usually use the Laneige Water Skin. So it is called water cream um, moisturizer. I'll leave it linked down below as well. I'm gonna try to leave all this stuff linked below if I can. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this cheaper moisturizer just because I'm mixing it in. I don't want to waste the Laneige stuff. But this is the um, it's like the Walgreens dupe of the Olay Active Hydrating Beauty Fluid Lotion. Looks like this. The stuff's actually really good. It's exactly the same as the last one. But I'm going to try mixing this in and <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm really nervous about it because I uh, am planning on wearing this makeup for multiple videos. I'm filming today, hopefully, feeling a little ambitious. Um, and then I'm going to hopefully stream tonight as well since I have make my makeup on. So I just put a little bit of that CC cream on my hand. And now I'm adding some moisturizer. And I'm just going to use a clean Q-tip. And go ahead and mix that together. And hopefully it mixes and isn't weird. It's looking weird. I don't normally do this. I, I think it just made it spread farther. I don't think it changed the color. See how dark that is? It's dark. <laughs> but I guess this is what we're going to use anyway. Let's see how it goes. I'm really nervous about it. So then I just take some on my finger. My hands are clean, of course. And I just, do you see? Dark. I don't even know if you can tell how dark it is because the lighting. And then I go ahead and rub it in with my fingers, which I know is like blasphemy these days. Um, but I started doing this recently and with this anyways, I don't mind it. I don't know if you can tell the color difference on camera, but it's there. <laughs> but yeah, I started doing this because I feel like it's just so much faster and you probably can't do this with like foundation but for the cc cream perfect because i babysit every single day so i typically don't wear makeup but sometimes well usually i go to the store after and i don't know i just want to feel a little bit better about how i look my nose is always the worst my nose is so dry and like it'll look so moisturized and then i put foundation on it and it's like the desert i used to have really really oily skin i'm sure i've mentioned that somewhere on my channel but since I've moved to Arizona, I no longer have that. I had very dry skin. But I had to look, kind of like relearn how to do my makeup while at the same time almost completely stopped wearing makeup. So it's been interesting. And I'm just going to run some of this down my neck because it's very dark. I feel like you cannot see that on camera. It kind of just looks glowy, but yeah. So then I'm just taking my Eco Tool sponge and further blending it in. As you can see, it's very dewy. A part of that is the Laneige um, mist that I showed you, but 
This stuff is really daily. It feels so weird to be, able to be filming a makeup video again. It's been so long since I've done that. I'll do my best, like at the end, like I usually do, try to bring you up close and in editing, I'll try to do that and try to make it, you know, show you as real as possible what it looks like. I don't have any lights on or anything. It's quite literally just my skylights and this big window over here, so. I'll try to like adjust and try different angles and stuff and figure out what works but you know until then I figured we'd just give it a little test run and I'm completely out of concealer so what I'm going to do is take a little bit more of that CC cream and I'm going to take it on this little broken Real Technique sponge. I cut it to get the just the point and I'm going to put that right under my eyes and then quickly I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me. Uh, this is in shade 05 Fair. I'm going to take the loose powder and I'm actually going to try a little bit of baking because I don't normally do that and my face is always creased so I'm going to try baking. I feel like this makes it worse. I have tried it before but I'm going to try again. I'm just going to try to bake underneath my eyes. I feel like this is going to make my eyes look really bad. <laughs> And then I guess we'll try my smile one. I hope this doesn't look too bad. I know it's not for everyone, but I watch a lot of It's Likely Makeup. Um, I'll also leave her channel link down below if I remember. But she does it. And she has dry skin, so we're all different people, but we'll try. And then before I go in with powder on the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Fawn Stick Foundation. And I also got this recommendation from Jordi a long time ago. I don't think she does this anymore. But I'm just going to put this in all the places, contour, and I do it along my jawline, and I try to do it on my double chin, and that's not a joke, I actually have a double chin. And then a little bit along the forehead. I don't contour my nose or anything, I might try it one day, <laughs> but yeah, I currently don't. My under eyes are looking really dry and greasy, as I assume how they would. I'm going to quickly blend this out using my same foundation sponge. I'm gonna go try to wipe this off because it looks really dry. I'm just gonna use this like foundation brush from One Wild and try to brush that off. I feel like it looks really dry. Or maybe it doesn't. Like it does, but I think it might have creased less while looking a little bit dry. But I might be able to combat that and try like putting moisturizer, extra moisturizer and stuff underneath my eye. I feel like it looks drier, but it's creased less maybe. Before we powder the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in and I've been loving this. I'm gonna do a quick like 10 minute everyday makeup routine soon, hopefully, <laughs> um, but I plan on doing that. And this is what I've started using again. I've had it for a while and I loved it and then I just stopped using it for some reason. So this is the Elf Cream Blush Palette. Nice gigantic mirror, which is amazing. And these are the colors. So I usually take like some of pink, down here in some of this one and I just take my sponge and I bounce it in. I like a lot of blush and I'm just gonna apply it. And I've been doing my blush a lot higher up and like blending up into my um I don't know like temple and hair. <laughs> Since I'm having blonde hair I've realized how much foundation gets in my freaking hair. It's so annoying. But this palette's amazing. It lasts a while and if you guys hear like any talking or anything um I moved apartments and my downstairs neighbors are so loud. They sit outside and they talk on the phone all day. They yell at their kids all day. It's really weird. I used to live on the bottom floor and I always thought that the people upstairs have it so good. It's so quiet. Um, well, I don't know if that's like just because the neighbors downstairs are loud or what, but it is not quiet here. Okay. So now that we have that on our cheeks, I'm gonna go ahead and powder the rest of my face. Now, because I'm powdering, this is going to kind of lessen the blush. So I'm gonna go back in with more blush later. I just, I love blush. You can do what you want. I'm loving is the Wet n Wild Bronzer. What color was this in? It's in some really light color. It doesn't even say on the back, but um, I use it as a powder because it's so light. And it's really good, but as you can see, first of all, I already used like a lot of it, but the rest of it shattered when I moved. So that's really annoying. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use a little bit more of this um, Fit Me powder I used earlier and take this just Morphe powder brush. I bought this in a vegan brush set, I believe. Maybe it was just a brush set. I'm pretty sure it's a vegan brush set. Oh yeah, see, already, I don't know what you can see on camera, but that really dulled down the blush like a lot, which for some people is a good thing. 
that's a little tip if you didn't already know that if you like went in too heavy with your contour or your bronzer or whatever just go ahead and take some loose powder and just brush over it it really really fades it for this look i'm not i was gonna go back in with more bronzer but for this look i'm not going to but i figured i just mentioned it anyway but i love this Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer and i switch between that and the hula benefit bronzer i don't have the light shade i just have the original but um yeah sometimes i'll add both i, I really like to mix my makeup like a lot so yeah i'm not using those today i'm gonna go in with the lime crime venus 3 palette and i'm gonna go in with shade dreamy there we go so i'm gonna take the elf blending brush and just kind of get rid of that sharp edge we got going okay and i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then just like the other one i'm gonna blend that this purple i think i'm gonna use Hopefully it goes okay. I'm gonna take this smaller brush. This is an e.l.f. eye crease brush. It's just a little bit smaller. And I'm going to deepen the crease. I hope I'm able to like zoom this in editing, editing for you guys because I feel like you really can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to find out a better setup for my next video. I'll really try. Just only so much I can do, honestly. And I'm sitting on the floor, so maybe that's why it's even harder. <laughs> but I'm just gonna do the same thing on both sides as usual. If you guys can hear them talking downstairs, I'm sorry. They're literally inside their house and I can hear them, like clearly. So I assume you guys can too. But now that we have that shape, I'm like doing more of a winged out shape. Um, I used to do more round, but I've gained a lot of weight so my face is more full and I don't wanna make it more round. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and blend as usual. I feel like with these shadows, let me know if you guys have this palette or are familiar with my primary shadows. This is my only one, um, so. But I feel like they kind of disappear when I blend it a lot, like, I don't know. I know that happens with the eyeshadow, like, obviously, but I don't know. I feel like it happens, like, a lot. Although this purple is looking really good. And I'm going to be blending it still, like, winging it out a little. I also have this other purple in my um, Kat Von D Fetish blush palette. But it also has a highlighter, so maybe I'll use that. This stuff's really, really pigmented. So I might use that as well. Oh my god, there's so many shimmers, I don't know what to do. I guess I'm going to try beam on my finger, and it's probably not going to go very well, so then I'll have to go in with the other one. Okay, so I went in with beam, and I don't know what you guys can see. But it is pretty, but it's a little too subtle for what we have going on. So I'm going to go in with the Fetish palette. And in the color tel tel telepathy, telepathy, <laughs> and I'm gonna use my finger. I always use my finger with shimmers, and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. So much better. So pigmented. Okay, so I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go with the shade Coven. It is. It looks lighter, but I'm gonna see how that looks. So I want to go in more with that shade from Venus that I was using, the shade Paradise. I don't think I mentioned that the first time. I'm going to go back in and really try to deepen the shadow. So my camera lost storage and I just realized that I wasn't recording that entire time. So um, I think all you missed was I went back in with that Paradise shade and deepened it a lot so you can see it a bit more. I ran some into my lash line and then I used Essence Lash Princess on my lashes. And now we're looking at my lashes. So I was saying I really love Amazon lashes. You get a lot for your money and they're really, really good quality. So my favorite ones that I was using for a while are these Felicia 5D Foamy Lashes in the shade Dubai. And they come in this box. I'm completely out. I need to buy new ones because these are like my favorite. But now I bought a new box and I'll try to link all this down below. I bought a new box of these um, Dye Silk lashes the box looks like this and it's in the shade 005 so every pair is a different style and right now i'm gonna check out um i just trimmed the other piece of this one so we're gonna check that one out and see how it goes and i always use this kiss strip lash adhesive with aloe i always use this one because it has a brush and originally i just had a tube before i knew that you know they came in better ways <laughs> so 
yeah I just trimmed a section off of this one and I think it's looking pretty good actually so I'm gonna go ahead and what I do is take the back of the lash box and just apply the glue from there. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm experiencing so many technical difficulties right now, but hopefully we're okay now. Um, I just put my lashes on and they look like this. They're really, really pretty. They're not like perfectly on, but I'm going to let it dry down a little bit before I continue. So now that we've done lashes, we're about to be done. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more blush because I love blush. And I'm going to go in with this kind of like pointed one from, um, it's called Pointed Powder Brush by um, e.l.f. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Bathory, it looks like it says, right here in the Kat Von D blush palette. And I'm just going to kind of set a little bit more that blush we already put. A little bit of my nose. And that should do it for blush. I really don't wear a lot of lipstick. Maybe I'll go in with um, the Soph X Revolution in Kate and uh, pat that on. I'm more of a lip gloss type girl. Two-faced Ginger Snap High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. That felt really grainy. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Alright, so I haven't done my hair or anything, but this is the makeup. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Bye!